And uh, the way you're describing it's exactly right, that we are inflicting cruelty to animals which does not need to happen. And the level of cruelty is unimaginable. Uh, I don't know if this is apocryphal, but how does pate de foie gras made? They take geese, they put them in a room, they shut the room and the geese get thirsty and instead of feeding them water, they feed them brandy till their livers become uh, full of uh, cirrhosis and that is the liver you use for pâté de foie gras. The animal suffers and dies just to give us pâté de foie gras. It's that cruelty that how do we live with ourselves as human beings when we are so cruel and that's a bit of an extreme example but what we, what we do to dogs, stray dogs every day. Uh, Sandeep, uh, thank you also for joining us. You're, it's really amazing that you're taking this initiative with the India Animal Fund. And you've often described it as a kind of Amazon uh, for animals. If you can just tell us how does the Indian Animal Fund work and how does it really help the cause of animal welfare directly? Absolutely. Uh, I will. Thanks, uh, thanks Pranoy. I should clarify it's Amazon the platform and not Amazon the river. But, uh, right. <laughs> but, but, but back to being serious. Um, the India Animal Fund is really a donation platform that connects donors with NGOs. I see. Uh, and these NGOs cover various topics. Uh, they, they cover various aspects of animal welfare, including farm animal welfare, which we spoke about, rescue and relief, uh, law enforcement, and so on. Uh, you know, it is quite paradoxical that while on the one hand we've noted that the scale and intensity of animal suffering is perhaps an order of magnitude greater than human suffering, the funds available for animal welfare are woefully small, a drop in the bucket. There was a recent report by the MCA that suggested that less than one half percent of all CSR funds were devoted to animal welfare. Um, and, and that is surprising. So uh, one of the main uh, focal points of uh, starting uh, India Animal Fund was to really mainstream the issue and bring it front and center away from the shadows of human welfare, which is where animal welfare is often situated. Right. So you get donors money and you give it to these NGOs all over the country and you're saying that what we spend on other aspects our CSR is 200 times what we spend on animals and animal cruelty and that's a reflection of our society. If we are kind to animals, it's a reflection of each one of us. Now, you are on the board of Give India and we've worked with them and there is a wonderful organization. Uh, they're also a donation platform, another Amazon for other issues, not particularly animal. You're focusing on animal cruelty. But any learnings from that that you, can, you are bringing to this platform? No, indeed there are many, uh, Pranoy. Uh, I would go so far as to say that Give India itself has been an inspiration yes. uh, for the India Animal Fund. Um, as you know, Give India is the largest donation platform and I've seen firsthand the value that a donation platform can have to amplify effective giving. Right. Uh, in so many ways, I feel a donation platform for animal welfare is perhaps even more important because when you look at the NGOs uh, in the sector, they are much smaller, less organized, more fragmented, and uh, you know they have a greater shortage of talent, of capacity, and of the ability to fundraise. Um, and you know these these NGOs need the support that we can bring. Uh, I also want to add that in addition to connecting donors with our partner NGOs, we also select projects based on neglectedness, on impact and on tractability for our donors, and then monitor them to ensure that the funds are efficiently and effectively used. I'd invite all the viewers today uh, to take a look at our website. It's a fledgling website and go through the various causes and projects uh, and maybe select one or more that they may want to contribute to.